So here we are, cut off from the outside world for a day. It means you have to be extra careful. I know of someone who was going to be up alone on an island in the high Arctic in Canada. She's going to be doing some research, and she said when she realized how alone it was and how dangerous it was to be alone was when the plane took off as she, after having dropped her off. And if she tripped and fell, broke a leg or something, it would be more than 24 hours before anyone would come and get her. So make sure you don't fall and break your legs today. It's a good lesson in heedfulness, that you really do have to take care of yourself. We're so dependent on a network of other people to help us, but there are times when that network gets cut off and you realize how, how much danger there is around you. And this is especially true in the mind, because there are areas of the mind that nobody else can touch. You're the only one who can deal with them. So you have to be really heedful about those areas, what shape they're in, when you're by yourself sitting there just with you and your breath. What shape is the mind in? How diligent are you in looking after your, your concentration, protecting it, caring for it? This is what makes all the difference. As the Buddha said, all skillful qualities come from being heedful. Seeing, seeing that there are dangers that if you're not careful. But you can avoid those dangers by being careful. So we work at the breath, work at developing this central part of the mind here, making sure that it's firm and strong and not easily knocked over. And that's our protection. So take extra care as you're looking after your mind, because nobody else can look after it for you. If it gets into bad shape, even you can wait 24 hours for a plane to come and pick you up, it's still not going to make any difference. Your mind is in bad shape, because the plane can't do anything for you. Even when there are Dharma instructions, it's up to you to decide which ones you're going to accept and which ones you're not. And you can close yourself off, which is really dangerous. And open yourself up to some bad influences. So it's up to you to decide wh where you want to open yourself up to outside influences and where you want to close it off, and how you're going to look after the mind. Because it is your one true possession, and you're the only one who can really look after it to make a change in it. So try to be careful in all that you do and say and think. Be careful in the movements of your mind, because they really do make a big difference.